Hello everyone and welcome back to day five of Mindful Mornings. This course is about goal setting. It's about taking the next, the last week and the next week to solidify the goal that we want to set ourselves for 2022. You may already have that, you may not yet. You might be thinking about that. If you have got it, maybe think about all of the different elements to that. We spoke earlier in the week about little milestones, maybe you know, dotted at three month intervals. Let's start our morning off this morning with our gratitude ball, our blue ball. And let's just, let's connect it to our breath. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just throw that ball back and forth, left and right. And as we open our arms, we're gonna continue throwing that ball so starting close together, opening the arms up, expanding the chest, breathing in, and as we breathe out, let's close those arms back up. And again, notice as you open your arms, it gets a little bit trickier. Feel the sensation in your hands up, and then Bring it back together. Okay, let's let's do three more breaths, but we're not going to open our arms this time. We're just going to really focus on connecting to that breath. Let's plant our feet in the ground. And as we take a breath in, let's think about something that we are grateful for this morning. So breathing in. One, two, three, four, five. And breathing out. One, two, three, four, five. And again, let's push it to six this time. As we breathe out, I want you to put a bit of a smile on your face. Think about your gratitude this morning. Breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And six, five, four, three, two, one. And one last time, we're gonna push it to seven, but this time I want you to chuckle, chuckle to yourself on the way out. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Grab those thoughts of gratitude and have a little chuckle to yourself as we breathe out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So today, guys, we're gonna look at reflections. Okay, so we started Four days ago, this is our fifth day. And we're just gonna go back and think about what we did every day. Today's Friday for me, it might not necessarily be Friday for you. So I'm gonna, instead of using the days of the week, I'm gonna say day one, day two, day three. Okay, so let's think about day one. So what I want you to do with this gratitude ball it's let's start off. Oh, no, I'll tell you what, we're going to follow the, the, the number of days. So day one is site swap one. So this was Monday for me. Day one, whatever that was for you. Think about what happened on Monday. Think about what your gratitude was on Monday. Think about maybe a good deed you did. What was it about day one that stood out for you? What made you smile? Let's jump to day two. Sight swap two, silent ball, silent hand. Reflective moment. Think about day two, let's take ourselves back. What happened on day two? What made you smile? What did you do? What was your gratitude? Day three, 
Let's go site swap three. What happened on day three? What was your gratitude on day three? Day four, site swap four, yesterday. What were you proud of, you, of about yourself yesterday? What did you do for you or somebody else? And for today, let's go back to site swap three. What are you going to do today to make today great? How are you going to step into today on purpose? What I want you to do this morning, we're going to do something a little bit different with our catching. I want you to turn your hand over and I want you to throw that ball and I want you to catch that ball on that hand. Okay? And we're going to reverse. Okay, so instead of having our hands this way, we're going to have our hands that way. And we're just going to throw one to the other. Okay, it might be a sock. It might be really difficult with whatever you're working with. But let's try. Let's see if we can get it thrown up and down. Up and down. Let's alternate. So every time you get rid of a ball, switch the hand over. <laughs> so throw the ball up land turn that hand over throw it up turn that hand over and so on add a little bit more for you to think about let's spend 30 seconds just doing that ball up and then switching the hand over the catching hand getting mixed up myself here Okay, let's grab three balls, guys. Three balls, and let's squish them on our heart. Let's remind ourselves of the dream way too big quote. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to throw some energy, push some energy from your hands and your heart into these balls. And I want you to pick out a word in all of this that stands out for you today. Just one word out of this quote, our motto at Circus Mash. Dream way too big and forget not your purpose, but live every day like your life is a circus. So I'm gonna say it one more time. And grab that word, whatever that is for you. Dream way too big and forget not your purpose, but live every day like your life is a circus. So, let's take our gratitude ball and put it somewhere. Yesterday, I told you to take that ball with you or connect with it. Um, through the day, I want you to do that exact same thing today. So wherever it is in your house, your space, um, where you live, where you're going, your work, put it there, take it there, keep it in your pocket, maybe reach in every now and then. And wherever it is, I want you to connect with it a few times today. So we've got our positive and our negative ball. Let's close our eyes. Yesterday I introduced a world an imaginary space. Let's remind ourselves of what that was. There's a river. Over the top of that river there is a bridge. It is a gorgeous day 
and it's a gorgeous day for you. If you like snow, there is snow. If you like sun, there is sun. If your best season is autumn, then it is autumn. But what I want you to do is I want you to know this place. I want you to find that place in your mind or find that, that, that real place that you've been to and bring it into your mind and connect it with this, with this imaginary space. And we're on a bike, okay? And our goal this year is to get to the other side of that bridge. We really want to get across that bridge. We've never ridden a bike before. Maybe we have with stabilizers, but we don't quite know how to do it yet. And we'll just have to practice. And I want you to take your balls. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to throw your positive and your negative balls a four and a four. And these represent something positive, positive thoughts, positive habits, things we feel that we really can do and we will do. And then the other ball, the red ball for me, represents things that I find maybe a little bit harder, habits that I have that I want to take out of my life, step away from, things that don't always go right, that are always going to be there. Let's just jump to a 3-3. Three, three. Practice a bit of juggling as we go here. 3-3. Three, three. Four, four. Three, three. Four, four. Three, three. Four, four. And then close your eyes again. Let's just remind ourselves of the sight swaps we used for all of those elements of our bike and ourself. So one... Let's keep our eyes closed for this. Throw one with your eyes closed. Sight swap one. Those are our handlebars. So keep throwing that one. Thinking about those handlebars. Visioning you. Visualising you. Grabbing onto those handlebars. Getting ready. Today. And over the next week. To set on that journey of the year. Ahead. To achieve whatever goal you want to. Let's jump into sight swap two. Silent ball in a silent hand. That is us on the seat, balanced, ready to go, ready to pedal. Three. Sight swap three is the action. Of us starting, pressing go. And then four. Is the result of us moving forward. From us holding those handlebars. Steering, our balance, our pedals, and that four is the result, the movement forward. Of everything else. Let's just take a minute just to go to our three three. And let's think about today. So if you're struggling with this, you could do it with one ball if you want to do a bit more thinking. Or you can do it with two balls. 
want to do a bit more practicing juggling if you've got it down this 3-3 three, three, then you can think as well about today the start of the day we're going to pedal our way through the day well, let's just take a second just to think about something that's going to be that's going to be exciting about today what is it that excites you about today If you want to add a little clap in there, throw, throw, clap, catch, catch. If you drop them, remember, just recognize it as a drop ball. Grab some gratitude. Practice having that second thought as some gratitude. Or something positive. Something that makes you smile. Okay, let's grab three balls. Let's push them on our heart and let's just take a breath. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna push it this time. We're gonna go for seven seconds. And we're just gonna let our morning so far just wash over us. Maybe think about what you did before you came. Your journey from the bed to the space that you are standing right now. And just walk through it and just think about the things that you didn't notice when you did it this morning. So taking a breath in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as we come to a close, let's just take your positive and negative ball and just jump in. To our habits so we spoke earlier in the week about a habit that we wanted to bring into our life a positive habit and a habit that we wanted to step away from distance ourselves from become more more aware of what we need to do in order to make that happen something positive to bring in and something you don't quite like no that's not the right word something you don't quite something that doesn't do anything to help you anymore and if you're only just connecting with one of them things this morning connect with one of those things think about that think about that every day doing that every day taking action every day to these little milestones what our goal is to become. And let's just keep throwing up and down. Being aware of our breath and the sensations in our hand. And to finish off, let's grab three balls. And let's just push them into our heart. Let's close our eyes. And you're going to have two days now. 
where you're on your own doing this. And then we're going to come back. So for me, today is Friday. Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to do this on my own, as you will. And I'll come back on Monday morning. And we're going to really dig into shaping our goal. So there will be a downloadable next week that you can download PDF that you can just start to jot some thoughts down on and just spill your mind out. But we'll dig into that next week. So let's take a big breath in. We're going to push it to eight. And as we breathe out, I want you to think of as many exciting things in your life, as many um, things that you're proud of about yourself, about somebody else, that you're grateful for. Just let them flood your 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 brain, your body. Let's breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight, seven, six, five, flood that brain. Four, three, two, one. Have a gorgeous day. Have a gorgeous next two days. Make sure you spend 20 minutes in the morning doing it for you. And whatever we've done this week, pick out your best bits. Pick out the bits you like the most. Add your own stuff in there. Structure it around, one, what gratitude you have. Two, how you're going to make today great. And three, something positive. But always kind of think about that goal. What is that goal? Question that goal. Question what are the steps to get to that goal? Because we want to spend this time doing that. So we really are in tune with it all the time. And thinking from the goal backwards. How do we get there? What do we need to do? Have a lovely day, guys. I will see you in a few days' time.